Radio communications are playing an increasing important role in uh, our world today. Um, what they have in common is that they rely on one scarce resource, which is radio frequency spectrum, and it is the role of the ITUR sector to ensure uh, the efficient, economical, rational, and equitable use of this scarce resource. And in this process, uh, the ITUR study groups, and before them, between 1927 and 1992, the CCIR study groups, are at the center of this process. Um, first of all, they conduct studies on the technical, regulatory, operational, and economical aspects of the use of spectrum. These studies um, are used in several ways. The first one is that they are at the core of the decisions by the World Radio Conferences of the ITU to adopt the international law of the use of spectrum. That's the law which is going to be applied in each country uh, in relation to other countries. So this very important activity is really uh, very much enabled by the work of the ITUR study groups um, because its purpose is to ensure that the radio communication ecosystem or the wireless ecosystem uh, evolves by taking into account the progress of technology but at the same time ensuring that this progress is going to be integrated in an non-disruptive process, that the investments which have been made uh, in uh, radio communication networks, in satellites, in mobile networks, etc., all these investments will be protecting in the long run. So this is a um, very subtle exercise to incorporate what is new without affecting too much uh, what is already there. So the ITUR study groups contribute to this process by these studies. Another essential activity that they carry out is to produce recommendations on the use of spectrum. These are not uh, laws, they are not binding, but they are actually applied uh, universally by all countries. And these standards uh, actually ensure the economies of scale uh, for all the devices and, and network equipments that are necessary uh, to enable uh, the wireless world. So there's two aspects, the studies for uh, updating the international regulations and uh, adoption of standards of universal applicability as well as uh, guidelines and best practices which are applied in all countries are really the uh, outputs of the ITUR study groups and they are uh, the way the ITU uh, has been able for over a century uh, to ensure that the wireless ecosystem uh, develops in a sustainable manner. Today we are uh, celebrating the 90th anniversary of the CCIR and ITUR study groups. And I believe the achievements uh, in terms of standards, in terms of, of regulations that have been made by this work are simply outstanding. And I think they are recognized worldwide for an essential enabler to the wireless world. The token of um, these achievements is uh, that the fact that ITUR received several times in the past, and most recently uh, four years ago, 
uh, the Emmy Awards of the uh, National uh, U.S. Academy of uh, Arts and Science uh, for uh, the achievements in terms of standards for television and sound broadcasting. One of the um, main uh, results which is expected from WRC 19 is um, the allocation and the identification of spectrum for IMT 2020, which is uh, actually 5G, the fifth generation of mobile networks. Um, this will enable um, mobile networks to provide uh, much higher quality and uh, l smaller latency uh, for the accommodating new applications and huge traffic growth that we are uh, currently seeing with the third and fourth generations. Other important aspects which are, are going to be decided by uh, WRC 19 relate to uh, new technologies uh, to uh, connect um, the unconnected areas of the world by using uh, high altitude platforms and non-GSO uh, satellite systems, non-geostationary satellite systems, which um, have the potential to provide uh, an effic economically efficient response uh, or solution, rather, to uh, the connection of uh, unserved or poorly served areas. I, I can predict a bright future for uh, the ITUR sector in general and for the ITUR study groups in particular uh, for a very simple reason is that uh, as the wireless world is becoming increasingly complex, the need for studies and the need for agreement leading to global harmonization uh, is essential and will become more and more important in the future. Um, all um, areas of wireless communications are actually uh, getting into uh, mass market applications, whether we speak of uh, posi global positioning uh, devices, where we speak of mobile devices, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc., or satellite reception. All this uh, shows, or, or also br broadcasting, terrestrial broadcasting, all this requires economies of scale to provide cost-effective solutions, and the economies of scale at worldwide level are what is achieved by the work of the IT world study groups. The indication we have is that everything is becoming radio. Uh, everybody wants to be connected in real time anywhere at any time, and uh, only mobile communication provide this. In addition, satellites uh, provide the ability to locate and help people to uh, localize themselves geographically. They also uh, provide search and rescue applications. Um, and very importantly as well, they provide the type of monitoring of Earth resources, which is more and more in demand to ensure uh, the uh, sustainability of human activities.